Reese first came here with some friends really not that long ago, just a few months ago. And then I took him back up a few times. There's a, there's a couple of things I'm working on myself up here. So it's, it's quite nice for us to come here together. My project, which is the Force 8B. It wasn't that long ago that I started working it. I first came here in the summer as well. And I wasn't working it, but there was a couple of guys, friends of mine who were working it, who have now sent it not that long ago. And that was my first time here, so I've kind of grown a relationship with it and started to enjoy working it. solid that time. On my second session I think it was I pulled off a hold after the crux when I thought I was going to send so since then I've kind of found it hard trying to get my beta together and the last two sessions before today I just had a nightmare. Just wasn't having fun on it, getting a bit bored. <gasps> For a while, I was kind of really struggling with the bit in the middle. <laughs> You've got the big undercling, and I just couldn't find a bit of beta. <laughs> Man who got the first ascent, Andy Wilby, he he gave me some beta on how he sent it on his first goal. Pretty impressive, Reese, that he could actually hang there and like stuff up in fruit sequence and still be there. I know. I didn't get off that edge as you So, from this session, I started using it. At the start, I thought it was going to be another one of those sessions. Oh, no, take. <laughs> beginning to get annoyed but kind of sat to myself and dad gave me a bit of a ride for being kind of moody <laughs> uh, and I kind of sat to myself and just kind of got my head in the game and relaxed into it a bit more. I can barely remember any of it because I just tried to clear my head as much as I could. Clip from there, side pull, still got healing up on that big shelf. And you're up to this kind of ear hold, it looks like an ear. <laughs> All the holds are relatively good from bottom to top, just really difficult, kind of powerful moves. I just got to the undercling as usual. I was like, oh, let's see how far I can get from here. And at this point, when I, on the send, I got my foot far too high, so when I came up to that, it was a lot harder. It just felt really wrong. And when I stacked the move, I was like, what the hell do I do now? I just kind of went for it and just tried to do what I could remember. I was just, well, beeling him, but just full of adrenaline, really. It was just really nervous for him, especially when he got past the section that he'd constantly been popping off from. Uh, when he got us, just 
thinking keep it together keep it together because it's still it's still hard from there you know you can you can blow at any moment you know so um, yeah I was I was psyched but cheeky <laughs> My hardest route climb before this, which was only in the summer, maybe July, was 7B+. Plus. So I've jumped, what is it, five grades to climb 8B today. Yes! The beauty! This is the fifth ascent of the Force 8B, which was first climbed by Andy Wilby, who bolted it. Secondly, Callum Cunningham. The third ascent was Dave McLeod, very recently. And the fourth ascent was um, Murdo Jameson. What's really good is Reese has got the fifth ascent and he's only 14. So it's, it's a big, it's a special moment for him. He's, he's really chuffed. I got it wrong at the crux. I was actually really nervous for him, to be honest, because I knew he was going to do it. It's just I didn't really think he'd do it today. Oh, I didn't think it was real. It was weird. Because I've never really sent a hard project that I've put effort into. But it was just a really weird feeling, really good feeling. Two chaps. 